NJN Montclair, broadcasting from the campus of Montclair State University. General Motors is proud to dedicate its local underwriting to Images Imágenes, a public affairs and cultural program focusing on issues affecting the Hispanic community. Next on Images Imágenes, no one to call mamá and papá, adopting minority children. Saludos, welcome to Images Imágenes, I'm Miguel Pérez. There are more than 50,000 African-American and Latino children with no one to call mommy and daddy, yet society knows very little about their existence because legal issues prevent them from being exposed in the news media. For this reason, many Americans, unaware that the problem exists, adopt children from abroad and neglect black and Latino children who live right here in the United States. The problem is further complicated by the negative publicity received by the divisions of youth and family services, the horror stories about children adopted by abusive foster parents and overlooked by the system created to protect them. But what can be done to remedy this situation? How do we combat these negative images if we cannot showcase the positive images of children waiting for adoption? If Latino culture is still family oriented, why are so many children being placed for adoption? And who should be able to adopt these children? Only Latinos who can teach them their own culture or anyone willing to love them? Those are just some of the questions we'll be discussing today with Lourdes Soto from Rogers University in Newark and Reginald Dorsey from the New Jersey Task Force to recruit adoptive homes for African-American children. Let me start by welcoming you to the program but let me start with the issue of image, of the image that we have that this is a very negative situation and that negative situation becomes a situation where no one wants to even speak about it. Why is so little attention being placed on this very important issue for our black and Hispanic community? And I like both of our guests. Uh, Mr. Dorsey, let's start with you. Why is there such little publicity about this subject? Is, there, is it because we can talk about these children, we can identify them by name? Uh, I really don't think that's the reason. I think that uh, we want to bring a lot of attention to the issue of adoption. Uh, I think that you're perfectly right in that there needs to be more attention about uh, children that are available and waiting to be adopted. Uh, we need to uh, make our communities aware that children need love, need care, uh, that they're looking for homes, looking for someone to take care of them. And I, I just think it hasn't been a, maybe a, a hot topic for a person to talk about, but certainly we need to improve on that and, and shows like this can help us to get the word out. Lourdes, why such little publicity for our Hispanic children that need adoption? Uh, Miguel, I think the lack of media attention to this matter is a very important, a very important factor as to why there is such lack of knowledge about these children being without homes. Uh, I think the Latino family itself has been a, one that welcomes additions. If you, if you know that we have a, hijos de crianza, foster children, are very much part of the extended Latino family something happens when it comes to New Jersey and the mainland where those values that we bring with our culture are not uh, transferred. I think um, the fact that our community is fragmented, there is not one whole medium of communication that reaches it. There is an absence of uh, the state in the lives of people if the state is dealing with uh, these children, there is a definite gap in communication between the Latino family and the state. And, you know, the whole sociology 
of the situation and you can say that well it's you know the media has a, pl a part to play also the state has a part to play and the family itself has a part to play and how it has redefined itself we want to get into that more thoroughly when we watch this uh, background report by Ana Quiñones let's watch this report first beneath the smiles of these lovely children there is fear fear of rejection fear of not being loved fear of not finding a home I know that we have more than a sufficient number of children in this state and in this country that Americans can adopt, you know, whether they're Caucasian, African American, or Hispanic. We do have children here that need to be adopted. So when I see families going outside of the country spending thousands and thousands of dollars to adopt these children, and in most situations they do not receive the same amount or depth of information about that child and that child.